Next, we're going to talk about Command or Shift Select. You're going to use this when you want to move uh, multiple things at the same time or apply a certain action to multiple things all at the same time without having to do it one at a time. So let's start with some folders. I'm going to open up Finder and go to my Documents folder. And I want to organize these. I have a few letters and newsletters and documents kind of sorted about here. And I want to move them. Now, uh, for example, I have two letters here, letter to Frank and letter to Joe, that could go in my letters to friends um, folder. And I could drag them there one at a time. Or I can select them both at the same time. One way to do that is to click on one of them, hold down Command on my keyboard, and then click on another one of them. Now when I want to move them, I can click on this icon here on the left side, and I can drag it into my Letter to Friends folder. Okay. Now you'll notice they've been moved out of my Documents and into my Letters to Friends folder, so now they're all the same. But what about this, when I have items that are out of order? I want to make a new folder for my newsletters. Okay, I'm going to move that back. I'm going to select one here, hold down Command, and click 2, 3. So now you'll notice I can select them even if they're out of order. And again, I'll click on this icon and drag them down into my newsletters folder. Nice quick way to organize them. This works in a lot of different ways as well. For example, in Mail, I could select a number of different things out of order right, by just holding down Command. And then I could junk them all, or trash them all, or forward them all, things like that. If there are a number of comp uh, a number of items that are consecutive that I want to select all together, I can click on the first one, move down the list to the bottom one that I want to select, hold down the shift key on your keyboard, and click again. So shift is going to select all of them that are consecutive, everything in a row, whereas command on your keyboard is going to select uh, non-contiguous items, so things that are out of order, okay, or, or non-adjacent. One last demonstration, we'll open up Photos. Works the same way here. If I want to select all of these photos here, I can click on the first one. I can click on this one, hold down Shift, and click, and you'll notice it's highlighted all of these photos in between. Oops. <laughs> It's highlighted all of these fo photos in between. Uh, so now I can, with all of these selected, I can click the plus button to add a new album, create it, and over here I've created a new album for favorites that has all of these pictures in it. That saved me having to drag each one of them one at a time into my favorites folder. Right? Another way to select them all is called a marquee or a drag and select. The way to do that is to click and drag a box around some items. You'll notice that my gray box that shows up, and anything covered by that box at all turns yellow. The key, though, is to click outside of these pictures. If I click on a picture and then try to uh, drag a box, it just moves the picture. It doesn't actually create a box. So I need to click in the gray background here, click and drag a box. Uh, that works the same in, in lots of other programs. If you want to drag a box around, Lots of things that you want to select. The box can be any shape, but uh, you do have to make sure that you click outside of the items that you want to select. Otherwise, you're just going to move those items when you click and drag. Similarly, it'll work here in Finder. I can click and drag a box, and again, it will select in blue just the things that I have covered with my box. And then I could move these items, or I could color them uh, a certain color, or I could copy them, things like that. So that's your marquee select.